Okay, I'm opening my book here. I'll speak in. Okay, these are my notes. If we come over here, content page we have speak in section one or part one right then we have speak in part two then we have speak in part three i have prepared some model tests as well frequently asked questions and there are some spoken expressions you are supposed to use and model answers we have prepared this part is called interview the first part let me come down for example i'll speak in section one or i'll speak in part one we call it interview an interview, you would be asked questions about you, about your family. These are basically social questions. It can be about education, studies, hometown. Can you see the screen? It can be yes, weather, wedding, travel. Okay, all these are questions. Over here, examiner would be giving you four minutes. And in four minutes, they would be asking you three to four questions. Uh, topics. For example, the topic is about hobbies. It can be about films. It can be about shopping. If he or she would be taking uh, four topics, then they would be asking you three questions on each topic. And if they are taking uh, three topics, then they'll be asking you questions, four questions on each topic. Right? Okay. Okay. Average, average 10 to 12 questions they'll be asking you. And uh, then you are supposed to answer in two to three sentences, not more than two to three sentences or not a single answer. You are supposed to answer, for example, the question is, what's your name? Well, my name is Azar Yeshal. Okay? Not only Azar Yeshal. Azar Yeshal, if you will be speaking, then it's an incomplete sentence and you are not supposed to say incomplete sentence. Pura sentence more not that. Okay? Then uh, to the point answers you are supposed to give it should be precise. It should be like not too much specific, not too much common. But whatever the question is, you have to answer. If the question is in the present tense, you would be saying replying in the present tense. If it's in past tense, you have to say in the past. If it's in future tense, then you would be answering in the future tense. These kind of like uh, different questions you would be given 80 to 90 percent. These are the questions examiner ask until here. Okay. Then we have speak in part two or speak in section two. This is called cue card. All of you are listening to me? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. We call it part two. And uh, in part two, this is called cue card. In this part, examiner would be giving you this part, this cue card, and he or she would be asking you, now you have one minute to prepare the topic. Then for two minutes, you would be speaking. In this part, we have the definition of noun that is name of person, name of place, or name of thing. Okay. And you have to prepare three cue cards. They are really important about person, about place, and about thing. And these like three cue cards or just one cue card about the personality, you can relate eight to 10. Describe a person whom you admire, describe your favorite personality, describe your favorite member, describe your teacher whom you admire, describe an old person who has influence in the society, uh, describe an old person whose services are very important in the society. Such kind of questions you would, if the topic is about the place, describe a place you have recently visited, you would like to visit a crowded place, a polluted place, describe a place you would like to visit again and again. So uh, such kind of questions would be there, but just prepare about personality, about place, and about thing, okay? Uh, then these are the three important cue cards. Then onward, we have prepared these cue cards. These are around 40 to 45 cue cards. And these cue cards, you would be like, uh, these are actually cue cards. Students just acknowledge us after the Recording papers. Just and we acknowledge us after the papers. And we have been updating here. These are really important. Then from part really important. Then part three, part two, to part three. It is going to be, this is part three to be, this is part three. Okay. Uh, this is part three. It is about family, about historical place, 
about films, about cinema, about universities. Okay. Uh, these are the questions examiner would be asking you and these topics would be relevant to part two. For example, your part two is Q card and your Q card is about uh, talk about a high paying job in your country. Right. Then your part three would be relevant to high paying job. It can be about job. It can be about business. It can be about salaries. It can be about experience. It can be about uh, job satisfaction. So we call it part three. So part two would a uh, part three would be followed by the part two. And after that, uh, these are the model answers we have prepared. Uh, model, uh, you can say model test, uh, model, uh, you can say model test. Q card and Q discussion. Q card and discussion. Uh, then this is the test number two, speaking test two, uh, interview then this is card the and test number two, speaking test two, interview Q card and moving down with what we have prepared. These are the questions, frequently prepared. asked questions. These are the okay. questions, frequently you asked questions. All these questions. Okay. And, and these, these are the spoken expressions. These spoken expressions you have to use in expressions sentence starters. Sir, your sound is not clear. Hmm? Sir, sound not clear. Audio is not clear. My voice. Yes, sir. Now you people can hear me. Yes, sir. Okay, let me come on video. Uh, Hanji. Abhi abaz batayin. Now you people can hear me. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yes. Fine. Uh, this is, uh, these are the topics. If you see the screen, uh, these are the topics. Uh, like these are sentence starters. The topic I've got is, let me tell you, uh, as far as music is concerned, as far as shopping is concerned, in my opinion, these are sentence starters you have to use. You are supposed to use sentence starters. You are supposed to use uh, gap fillers. Like, you know, you see, let me think, if I consider in this way, isn't it the case? These are the things you are supposed to use. And uh, to the point answers, connectors you have to use. Uh, cohesion and coherence, like first of all, after that, moreover, in addition, but although these are the words you are supposed to use, your pronunciation should be okay, your fluency matters a lot. Task achievement, whatever the questions you are given, you have to answer accordingly. Uh, these are the things that uh, examiner asks you. Uh, part one, part two, and part three, speaking test. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, at the end, we would be going for question answer session. Uh, these are the uh, other thing we have prepared. Uh, these are the model answers. I'll rose rosary. Uh, for example, the questions are about you. We have prepared the model answers as well. We can study. For example, do you work or study? I'm currently studying at. Islamic International University, Islamabad. What do you study? I study law because it's really well. Uh, I study English. Whatever like your subject is, you can like change it accordingly. Okay, then work. We have prepared answers. For example, what was your first day at work like? There was lots of teachers starting at the same time as me. Uh, I think so. It's about uh, what we call a education or teaching job. The more teaching senior teachers ran or teaching with us so we realized a different system they had and then we went for the team dinner in the evening. So whatever the question is, you have to answer accordingly. You can amend it, you can change it as per your exposure. We have prepared the model answers. Then apart from that, where we where we Okay, after listening, sorry, after speaking, we have listening. This is listening part. In listening part, there are total four sections. We call it section one, section two, section three, and section four. How many questions are total in listening? How many? 40 questions. 
there are 40 questions okay there are 40 questions and how much uh, how many marks you would be getting uh, how many marks you would be getting how many marks you would be getting normally in uh, when i am doing a mock test uh, 8.5 mock band uh, 8.5 there are total 9 band and out of 9 band you would be getting nine band. uh it's mm. up to you and if you get 6 7 8 uh, and there are total you if you 40 marks 40 questions 40 marks 40 marks we call it section 1 section 2 section 3 and section 4 earlier it was called section 1 section 2 section 3 but these days we call it part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 sir there is uh, too much disruption in your voice destruction distortion i don't know why let me mute it unmute now now it's okay i think sir the other class members uh, can mute uh, their speaker uh, all, all of you are requested to mute it because when you would be unmuting then there would be distortion there would be voice just unmute it listen it to me when you want to ask at the end i would be telling you then you can ask me questions okay thank you sir okay moving to section 1 section 1 uh, we call it uh, part 1 or section 1 earlier we used to say it section 1 but these days since 2021 it is called part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 part 1 is the easiest there are usually blanks it's a dialogue there are the blanks uh, these are very simple questions and you can easily get answers abdul aziz kindly muted okay then uh, part 2 is called uh, usually in part 2 there are diagrams there are the maps or there can be short mcqs in part 3 there are the long mcqs and in part 4 there are the blanks in part 4 blanks you would be getting synonyms with each blank and if there is a word and then you can easily answer okay uh then uh like there would be 70% would be british accent and there would be uh 30% australian accent I have only six members, but in the group there were lots of people. Sir, I'm going to message here. Huh? No, no, no. Call me. 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 Call And then it's part uh, two or three. Or three. Or three. Mute this mic. Kindly mute it. All of you are supposed to mute it. In part three, there are the MCQs, and there is one supervisor, and there are uh, two students. They, they can be discussing about thesis, about assignment, about project, about presentation, such kind of things. They would be discussing. If the like speaker is going to agree then the answer would be in the phrase that is before there for example if he says if she says yes okay fine hmm isse pehle wala jo part hai answer would be there and if the answer is after that then there would be the words like but after but there would be answer the word in fact okay that is the indicator after in fact there would be answer specifically particularly actually uh the chief aim the main purpose these are the words after that they would be answered and if he says no i don't think so it's not immediately relevant then then he would be suggesting the point then there would be the answer okay then uh when you are supposed to transfer your answers either you are writing capital it's okay if you are writing small letters it's okay if you are writing capital then all letters should be capital if you are writing small all letters should be small but whenever they tell you the spellings then write the capital letters either it's a name it's a place or whatever it is okay in this book uh, we have prepared uh, like 
there are the different questions uh, about multiple choice about short answer yeah. questions about yeah. sentence okay uh, there can be notes table summary completion and there can be labeling a diagram number these are the different types of questions you are given 40 questions and your 10 questions in each sections right and you would be getting total 40 marks uh, we have prepared the tips and tricks for example it's multiple choice for multiple choice what kind of questions you would be getting over here we have mentioned and how to do the multiple choice questions for example read the instructions carefully and check how many letters you need to circle you are supposed to circle one two three four you need to underline the keywords then skim the questions and answer choices underline the keywords these are the things uh, you are supposed to prepare then how to answer short questions uh, then we have uh, sentence completion questions then we have notes forms table summary diagram uh, if there is a diagram or if there is a process diagram if there is a flow chart it would be clockwise like question number 21 then 22 then 23 and 24 it would be clockwise uh, these are the uh, like listening tips and tricks when you would be getting the notes you would be reading it uh, then it's about the reading in reading how many uh, reading sections how many reading passages are there hello i think four there are three reading passages we call it reading passage one reading passage two and reading passage mm -hmm. three. reading passage one is the easiest one reading passage two is difficult comparatively and three is most difficult these are the uh, different types of uh, questions how we people answer uh, let me show you if i go on my youtube channel mm, this is my channel i have uh, done lots of uh, for example this is the listening tips and tricks i'm doing it was the live class i was doing in the class and i was uh, solving the questions on the projector then same is the case here tips and tricks uh, these are tips and tricks for example this is reading solution i'm doing the reading complete test with my students okay and if you come down for example this is listening map or process diagram reading ielts 11 test 3 then this is listening another test i was doing this is the test i was doing on the paper uh, i've done lots of uh, tests on the paper this is live class this is another live class this is live class so i have done lots of the reading tests with my students lots of listening tests with my students and uh, tips and tricks either it's part one part two and part three so if you go on my youtube channel you can watch the videos because in this demo class it's really difficult to complete uh, like all the things uh, what we do like um, i have been doing everything on camera here at my institute and my staff they are recording my videos and they are after editing they are uploading it on youtube okay uh, we have uh, lots of tips and tricks to do the MCQs, to do the short answer question, to do the sentence completion, notes, and classification, and whatever it is. Okay, moving next to writing. For example, it is writing task one. You would be getting pie chart, you would be getting uh, this is bar chart, this is uh, pie chart. It is going to be line graph, there would be a uh, table, there would be like such kind of things. Let me show you another thing that we do with my students uh, for writing. We have done the class test, general training. This is the class test academic. This is the essay class test we have prepared. We are given original answer sheets of writing, writing task one, writing task two to the students. Then we have prepared the essay templates as well. And uh, this is writing task one we give our students. For example, this is line graph we do in the class and we have prepared the model answers as well. This is another line graph. This is going to be line graph. Then we have uh, map. 
then we have again map bar chart bar chart table process diagram another process diagram process diagram so this is the way we have been doing each and everything in our class and apart from that there is another writing task for students this is like bar graph model answers line graph model answers bar chart we have lots of things to do this is uh, what we would be doing in the reading test uh, sorry in the writing writing task one we have prepared the model answer uh, model answers as well and we have prepared the class tests as well uh, we have uh, like these are the different how to describe a table how to uh, describe a pie chart these are the things according to each and everything we have ppts as well and uh, for example writing task one overall there is a ppt then for writing task two uh lights essays apart from that there is another thing for example arts resource in arts resource when we go in writing writing task two this is essay advantage disadvantages discuss both views uh, opinion essay problem solution and these are very precise and very detailed things we have prepared if you go down there are 14 to 15 pages at the end there is a model answer and uh, coming back to buyers structures essay structures Okay. These are essays, different types of essays, opinion essay we have got, then we have got advantage, disadvantage essay, we have problem solution essay, discuss both views, two part questions, right? And we have introductions, then body one, body two and conclusion. This is the way we write essays. These are the structures, how to write sentence one, how to write sentence two, sentence three. We have prepared each and everything just to help the students. Then we have the model answers. problem We go up to each sentence. For example, uh, you are supposed to write introduction. Uh, for example, sentence one say paraphrase the question. Sentence two is thesis statement. Sentence three is outline sentence. We have prepared accordingly. This is rephrase. This is thesis statement. And then this is we call it outline or plan so then body one and body two and then conclusion essays we are prepared like this and then we have practice test at the end there is a vocabulary this vocabulary is for if you want to get six band you want to get seven band you want to get eight band we have described it accordingly categorized it you would be preparing like this uh question Any question if you want to ask? Can you people hear me? Yes, sir. Any question you people want to ask? Um, uh, sir, I have a question. I'll get the, I'm re really, I have really, um, been struggling during reading, reading. Uh, because uh, there is a very long passage and time is very short mm -hmm. so how can we tackle uh, this uh, with reading uh, time and time management how many how reading. many how many marks you are getting in reading uh, normally i get 6.5 not more 6 than 6.5 6 i'm struggling on Okay, the best way is to do reading with me. For example, this is the reading passage. I'm doing IELTS reading summary completion. Okay, the little ice age, I think okay. reading passage two or reading passage three it is. We have to go for summary completion. I've done lots of tests on screen. Uh, for example, here, if you watch it, then you can easily find uh, because 
if you are not doing the test with me, then you cannot get the right techniques and tips because we need to go for the keywords. We need to highlight the keywords in the questions. Then we need to find in the answers. The answer of your paragraph A, advertisement A can be the paragraph of so i'm just statement telling you over here and apart from that uh, for example coming back over here i was reading tips and tricks for band nine uh, i was doing the reading then passage with questions. my students then second page ek alag topic hoga, then you'll be getting the questions so ye answers yahan se lena bahut asaan hota hai under 26 your 27 to 40 wala passage hoga, that would be so just go and watch on YouTube. For example, I'm doing book eight, book nine, book 10, whatever the book I'm doing the test. At the beginning of the video, I would be telling that this is book eight, this is book nine, this is book 10, the test I'm gonna solve. For example, this is the test. Uh, Who are they? Two words you have, these are like black. At the beginning, usually I tell this uh, passage I took from the book 8, book 9, book 10, book 11. So you can find from there. Uh, I'm just uh, finishing it because uh, I would be giving you another link because it is about to expire. Okay. I was telling you about IELTS reading. For example, the questions are about true, false, not given. They are in the sequence. They are in an order. Okay. And if they are in an order, then like they can be on reading passage. Uh, let me show you a test. Wait, let me bring a paper. For example, this is the book. Uh, it's IELTS reading. We have prepared two books, volume one and volume two. For example, for example, it is, if you can see the screen, uh, this is the passage, the reading passage, okay? And then, and on another page, there is again a passage. Then we have, True, false, not given questions. These are the questions. Okay. And if you are getting true, false, not given questions, they would be in a sequence. Uh, let me let me open uh, the book. I'm going to share the screen with you. Shall adds books and to twelve. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Fine. Uh, these are the practice tests we have prepared. For example, these are the step wells. Step wells, uh, the first page, then we have second page. It's a text then you have true false not given. If you are getting true false not given, question one to questions five, it would be in a sequence. And it would be on first page. For example, question one is here, then two can be here, three can be here, then four and five onward. And true false not given are in a sequence. If you're getting blanks or one word only or short answers, then it is going to be again in the sequence. Six to eight, it would be in a sequence. Then, for example, it's Raniki wave. And this is the next part, question 9 to 13. Raniki wave, then Surya Kun, it should be on the second page if you are getting the blanks. So usually true false not given are on the first page. And on the second page, there are the blanks. If you are getting question 1, 2, 5, or 6, they are the blanks. 
they would be on first page and then true false not given it would be on second page when you come to the second page over here it is given rani ki wave so on second page beginning we have to go for rani ki wave where it is wait let me save it and we are downloads desktop so here is the rani ki wave fine so rani ki wave question answer would be here and then it would be on the next surya kund is here so from here to onward it would be in the sequence in an order in a sequence from left to right uh, from left top to bottom and then right top to bottom they would be in the sequence usually mcqs they are in a sequence then your blacks they are in the sequence your true false not given in the sequence summary completion they are in the sequence uh true false not given in the sequence no more than one word no more than two word no more than three word diagram completion these questions are in the sequence your list of headings they are random your sentence completion they are random even a uh, list of researchers or list of people they are in a sequence and like uh, two to three types they are random rest of the topics rest of the question they are in sequence you have to just read the keyword in the question then find that keyword in the passage when you find the keyword in the passage then again read the question then again read that sentence you can easily get the answers but yahan to sirf baatein hai na when we would be doing practically तो देन आपको वो सारी चीजें इजीली समझ आ जाएंगी आप मेरी वीडियोस देखेंगे यू कैन वॉच सम वीडियोस ऑन यूट्यूब यू कैन इजीली गेट द आइडिया सो हाउ आई एम डूइंग द सॉल्व आई एम सॉल्विंग द टेस्ट एंड हाउ आई एम लाइक लाइक द टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स आई एम गिविंग यू आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग आई हैव रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड अनदर थिंग लेट मी शो यू दैट इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लिसनिंग फॉर एग्जांपल यस्टरडे आई सॉल्वड अ कंप्लीट लिसनिंग टेस्ट this is 35 minute video for example here i am writing the answers audio is played there and i am writing the answers i have been solving all the like tests of listening and reading so when you would be doing with me for example you are listening and you are finding the answers so you can easily get the answers here i may believe they are rules within the organization kitim then an external mediator so you can do uh, like reading test with me you can do listening test with me ye just aap logo ko batane ka maqsad ye tha ke how much we are in in ires aur kitni cheeze hum isko karte hain daily basis pe ये और आप देख सकते हैं दिस इज अनदर टेस्ट आई रिसेंटली डेड ये तो शॉर्ट सी वीडियो है हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय नेम इज अजर यशाल राइट वेल द ब्लू ब्लू आर द आंसर्स दिस इज द वे आई एम डूइंग Any other question, please? Any question? And, uh, uh, sir, for speaking uh, session, uh, what we are doing? You can do a one-to-one -one conversation or a group conversation. It would be group conversation. Perfect. It would be group conversation. For example, uh, let me open it. it is going to be speaking right i would be telling yes. you for example we are going to do the topic and the topic is festivals what is the most important festivals in your country 
First, I'll be telling you, for example, we have three different types of festivals or celebration. We have national celebration, we have religious celebration, and we have cultural celebration. Uh, if we talk about religious celebration, we have either Fitr, either Doha, Eid Milad or Nabi. If we talk about national celebration, we have 14th August, Independence Day, then Defense Day, 6th September, then Pakistan Day, 23rd March. So you have to, it's up to you. You want to go for national celebration. You want to go for cultural celebration. You want to go for religious celebration. Then I would be asking a question and you put, people would be answering me. For example, I asked question of Basit, he would be answering. Then I asked question to Sundas. Next question, he would be answering. Then next question, Abdul Aziz would be answering. Next question, and Dimbri, she would be answering. So this is the way we would be doing. Okay, mm. And we have to cover all these areas, like page one, page two, page three, page four. First day, we would be covering, covering four pages, like page one, page two, then page three, and page four. And I will be providing you the model answers. You have to prepare the model answer. Next day... There would be the test of these four pages. Then we would be covering page five, page six, page seven, and page eight. Then I would be asking you question, and it would be a sir, test. test. Sir, kindly, sir, kindly listen, listen to me. Mm -hmm. Sir, kindly send this slide. Hmm? Kindly, sir, send this slide. How can I send it live? Sir, in PPT or PDF? Uh, the, these notes? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, after getting registration, I, I, we would be providing you. When you get registered, then we would be providing you. And we have lots of other material, daily based practice tests we have prepared. Uh, for example, resource material. If you have any sample structure, kindly send me sample structure. I can see. Sentence structure. No, sir. I read sample subtraction. I read sample test. You want to ask me? Yes, sir. Okay, wait. Practice test. Writing. If I go for writing, you can see there are 35 in PDF and we have 100 writing tests we have prepared. Then if we go for reading, we have prepared 52 reading tests. Then same is the case with listening and reading and we have been sharing on daily basis. For example, today is 16th. I would be sharing these academic reading and then academic writing. I would be sharing this in the group. For example, this is the demo. Uh, I'm gonna share it with you here. It is going to be the, I've just shared one writing and I've just shared one reading. Thank you, sir. Okay, one reading and one writing test I've shared. Then I can share you listening tests. Uh, for listening, let me show you another thing. Uh, for example, Study IELTS listening. This is my YouTube channel for IELTS. Uh, what we have done here, we have like typed all these tests in Word file. Then we have changed their uh, font style uh, as per the Cambridge. We have done the color coding and then we have uploaded it just for the ease of the students, just to make them like focus. For example, it is red and blue and these are the different color coding. Then if you come to the next page, so when you would be doing, you won't be getting bored. You can easily do it. We have typed all the tests in the word file. Then we have pre like uh, done the color coding. Then we have uploaded on the YouTube and they all are in HD, right? So you can easily do it. From book one to book, 16 we have done this so you can come on my this channel study english study IELTS listening and you can also like solve it and you can do listening test over here so we are giving one reading test one writing test and one listening test and i've done lots of speaking tests as well with my students uh, for the mock test you can also watch them 
So if you people get registered today, you can uh, call at my number, my coordinator. She would be like telling you uh, fee details and class timing each and everything. Then get registered, pay the fee today. We can start classes from tomorrow and we can start classes from day after tomorrow, from Monday. It's up to you. It would be daily one hour class and uh, it's the timing can be, uh, I think it would be in the evening, it would be better after iftari or after like uh, 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. before before iftar. Fine. So it's not, it's better to uh, take class during, um, uh, in after sahari? After Sari, it's not possible. Actually, my academy starts at eight o'clock in the morning. So I have to come here. Okay. Who, who is so, willing for after Sari? Only Sundas. And who is willing for after Sari? Sir, as a Jobian, it's very tough to uh, tough after Sari uh, as we have to deal our home too. Uh, as a, as a female, as a female kitchen jobs. <laughs> yes, sir, as a female kitchen job, uh, uh, sir. Uh, or uh, if is it possible uh, to uh, within before one p.m. before namaz or if uh, others are agree. Okay, you people are available. You people are available at twelve o'clock or at one o'clock. In between 11 a.m. to uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yes, sir. In between this, if uh, others are agree. I can manage like 11 to 12. I can manage uh, not 11 to 12. I have class at until 11.30. So I can manage 12 to 1 or 1 to 2. So 12 to 1. 1 to 2 is a mass time actually. Okay. 12 to 1. Who, who, 12 to 1. Who can come from 12 to 1? Abdul Basit, can you come? Yes, sir. Uh, Abdul Basit can come at 12 to 1. Sundas can come at 12 to 1. Who else? Who else can come 12 to 1? Arslan Khalid. Can you come at 12 to 1? Yes, sir. Arslan Khalid. Okay. Then Saifullah. Saifullah, can you come at 12 to 1? Saifullah, can you hear me? Okay, there is another uh, student, he is from overseas, like, uh, I don't know the exact name. And Dimbri Sely, on icon it is written NS, second last, this one. Can you hear me? Can you speak, please? Hello? Okay. Abdul Basit, Sundas, and Arslan Khalid. You people are willing to continue from 12 to 1. Fine? Fine? Yes, sir. This is uh, convenient. Yes, sir. Convenient. Okay, fine. Uh, you may get registered today, and we can start uh, from we Monday. And from, we can start uh, from Monday. 12 to 1. From 12 to 1. Sir, one more thing I have to ask. Uh, the what minimum one hour time required for our, our is preparation? Time for seven or seven point five band preparation. Seven point five band. It depends on your level. If suppose you are, uh, at the moment you are getting six, and you need six point five or seven, you are getting, and then it would depend on your weak area. If you are good at listening, so you should focus more on reading. If you are weak in reading. For listening, you do only 10 tests are enough. And for reading, if you're weak, then you should go for 15 to 20 tests. 
Sir, one month, sir, I'm together. I plan to register sir, my files in the start of June. So, uh, one and a half month is enough uh, for preparation. Yeah, yeah, it is enough. It is more than enough. More than enough. Hmm. Um, reading. Person say reading. Hai. Evening, may writing task too. Anji. ठीक है आप लोग ऐसा करें कि ग्रुप के अंदर जो एडमिन का नंबर है ना उस पे कॉल कर लें मेरी कोऑर्डिनेटर है उनसे आप डिस्कस कर लें फिर इसको कंटिन्यू कर लेते हैं ठीक है ऐसा करें अब्दुल बासित मुझे अपना कांटेक्ट नंबर बताइएगा सर 0301 0301 96 96 45 45 546 546 Arslan Khalid Arslan Khalid has left uh, Ma'am Sundas you are WhatsApp group hai, usme aap hai na, to admin ko wahan pe aap inbox kar dein uh, okay, sir, okay. Public, public mein nahi aapne message karna admin ko मैसेज पर्सनल मैसेज कर देना वहां मेरे पास आ जाएगा वो मेरी कोऑर्डिनेटर फिर आपसे कांटेक्ट कर लेती है ओके सर ओके ठीक है सैफुल खान कैन यू हियर मी हम फिर ना ये 12 टू 1 का बैच बना लेते हैं जिसमें अब्दुल बासित हैं सुंदर है अरसलान है और बाकी भी जो लड़के आते हैं फिर हम बना लेते हैं इसमें बैच ठीक है ठीक ठीक है सर कल मैं लूंगी चलिए ओके ओके थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़